course, the day that I want to film, there's a bunch of construction going on. So why not, you know? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Natalie. Today's video is going to be a long-awaited Amazon favorite. As you guys know, these are one of my favorite videos to film. One of my favorite hobbies to do, which is waste my money on unnecessary things that I try to convince myself that I need, but in reality I don't. And then I actually end up realizing that it was a smart choice to buy them because I find a use for it. I want to give a quick disclaimer that there's construction going on next door. So if you hear anything, that's what's going on, all right? I'm not going to let that stop me. We're just going to hop right on because I have a bunch of things to show you guys. So as always, everything's going to be linked down below. Make sure to check that out. And I'll be listing the other videos that I've filmed because I have a bunch of other Amazon favorites. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so I'm going to start off with the famous mason jar that I've been sharing in my IG stories and so many of you guys have been asking about the link. It has been sold out, unfortunately, but I'll be linking the one that I personally got and also any other that I find available on Amazon. I got the mason jar separate from the lid and straw, so it came in a pack of six. This is the large size. I'm pretty sure you guys could find the mason jars at Target or Walmart, so I'll be linking those as well in case you are interested or if they don't have it on Amazon. And then the lid, it's a bamboo one and the straw that's metal. I've been obsessed with making smoothies, especially mango smoothies, and I just love it. It's super cute and it's useful for many things. So with quarantine and all, I've been on an organizing kick and I recently got these spice organizers. These came in a pack of 24 or 20 and they also have their own labels. That's what they look like. They have the black ones and then the regular ones, but if you guys saw my previous Amazon favorites, I got my own label maker that I am obsessed with. So highly recommend that one for you guys as well, which you can watch my previous one if you want the link of it. But these are super cute and great to organize your spices. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have been drinking a lot more wine than usual. So I got these wine stoppers or like pour thing. So if you open a wine and you don't want to finish it, you can just put this on and it'll last longer. And also you can pour it easy. Um, with the little lid thing so like that came in a pack of two on the topic of wine Eric got me this decanter So yeah, I don't know, you know, not necessarily a must in people's households to be honest with you especially in a studio apartment, but I Feel like it's super cute and nice to have if you have friends over or a girls night to drink wine and it's also just really like I don't know. It's really fancy to pour wine that way. All right, so since I'm currently showing kitchen stuff, let's show you this oven liner. So this is basically to put in the bottom of your oven and whatever grease or any yuckiness basically just lands right on this and you can clean it off because it is like washable, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's it's useful. I also got a random teacup set just because I've been seeing a bunch of aesthetically pleasing photos on Instagram if I'm being honest with you. So I figured why not? It has gold and white. It came in a pack of six cups and then six plates. It came in a pack of six cups, six plates and six little spoons. So super cute. No tea kettle, but I don't know. Also, while in quarantine, I became obsessed with baking and making bread has been one of my favorite things to do. I am still trying to perfect it, so I ended up getting this bread making for beginners book that I kept seeing around um, Instagram, especially from Christine's Insta stories because she's always making sourdough bread, which is still my goal to make. And then I got this little proof basket thing and more utensils for the bread. I still don't know how I came about this product, but it is my favorite glass cleaner or mirror cleaner ever that I have tried in a really, really long time. For some reason, Windex has like stopped working for me. It just doesn't clean my mirrors and glass like it used to. So I ended up getting the Spray Away glass cleaner. This is the best glass cleaner ever, hands down. Definitely a must and everyone needs this. So if you can go and get one of these another random thing I came around are these wool balls 
for your laundry i think these came in a pack of eight and now i have six i don't know where the other two went but this is truly a game changer because it helps my clothes dry a lot quicker than normal and i'm basically saving money from putting more coins in the dryer so i just have it in the ziploc bag and i take it with me every time i go do laundry another thing i'm super late on the bandwagon for is this heating pad it looks like this you basically just put water in it warm water to be exact and it helps with period cramps while i was in connecticut eric's mom lent me hers and it is so so helpful while you have cramps so i ordered one from amazon and it was only i think 13 dollars. this is massive so definitely will continue to use this and if you suffer from cramps highly recommend it as we all know we have been struggling without pedicures and manicures so i got myself these exfoliating foot peel masks for soft, healthy, and smooth feet. And let me tell you, this is one gross and two life-changing because it truly, like, I feel like nothing peels off your feet like this does, not even when you go to an actual place to get a pedi pedicure. And I just love how soft my feet feel afterwards. It is a really nasty process because you put these on and then for, I think, a week or two, it starts peeling off and you have to wear socks all the time. I don't like wearing socks. I don't know if you guys know this about me. I just, I don't, I like walking barefoot. So wearing socks all the time was definitely hard for me, but I love the end result. And I'm going to be doing one of these today because I need it. In the topic of feet, I ended up getting these slippers. These are fuzzy little slides. I don't know, not a need, but you know, since we're all home, I feel like it's a nice cozy thing to have. So I ordered this one. I've seen other ones that are like even cozier. So I'll be linking those as well if you're looking for them, but this one is super cute and casual. For spa days, I ended up getting these little fizzy balls. These are actually like vapor fizzy balls. I don't know how to explain it. Bath bombs. Bath bombs that help with your congestions, that help if you're sick, that help if you're stressed. So while I was sick two months ago, I was looking for some bath bombs that could help me with my congestions and all. So I stumbled upon these Frida Baby bath bombs. These are obviously for babies, but they can work for anybody that has congestion or again, if you just need to de-stress. The white ones have eucalyptus and the purple lavender ones have lavender. So it's nice to like relax and all that. Um, again, you can use these for your kids but you can also use it for yourself. I am going to be linking it down below for you guys. And also another great thing, these are all natural, so. Great. Another spa-like thing is this mask, which is a cooling mask. This side is really soft and fuzzy. And then this side has these cool beads that basically get cold if you put it in the freezer. This is great for migraines. I saw my friend Stephanie SMLXO post this on her IG stories. And I was like, you know what? I need this. So I ended up getting it. And it is, I'm not gonna put it on because I have makeup on, of course. It's great for those days that you just want to have a spa night and just put it on and either if you're stressed, if you are anxious, if you have a migraine, this is great. Another unnecessary thing that I find it to be quite useful, I guess. All right, so this thing is amazing. If you go traveling or a mini getaway, I went on a mini getaway before this pandemic situation happened. My friends and I went to Washington DC and I brought this with me and it was such a lifesaver to do my makeup, especially in hotels. I also took this with me to Connecticut and I use it a lot for whenever I'm just doing makeup, filming it for YouTube since I do it right here. Long story short, this is what it looks like. It's a mirror and it's a stand. So it's amazing, it's massive, it's really thin and you can bring it with you anywhere. Love this. All right, arts and crafts because we have been getting creative during quarantine. I have some puzzles here, which I know, I know, unfortunately it's really hard to find puzzles now but I was lucky enough to get this right before this pandemic happened. And I, I just love making puzzles. You guys know that if you follow me on Instagram. So I got this puzzle and on top of that, since I loved it so much, I ended up getting a puzzle glue thing. Um, so it comes with the glue right here and then this little spatula thing. This was only $5 and let me show you how amazing it worked. All right, this was the first puzzle I did while in quarantine and I have an emotional attachment to it so I want to frame it I ended up thinking why not glue it and I did so it's great you know it's glued however I don't have a place to put it around my apartment so I want to find the perfect size frame 
so I can frame it and save it for hopefully forever and show it to my kids and be like, you know, this is what I was doing while in quarantine. This puzzle, if you're wondering, is from the New Yorker brand. One of the best quality puzzles I've tried ever. This one is a little bit on the cheaper side, if we're being honest, like quality wise, but this quality of puzzle is amazing. So no, it didn't ruin the painting some of you guys were wondering if it ruined the actual puzzle but it didn't i also got some watercoloring stuff to watercolor so i got the paper and i also got the actual paint i'm going to be linking the brushes as well down below for you guys however i am not the greatest watercoloring i realized that after i ordered it and you know just not my favorite type of art i personally love more um acrylic paint so we're gonna stick to that, but I'm glad I have it in case I wanna try it again another day. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been hopping on the working out spectrum of things. However, I've stuck to yoga just because it's a lot easier and just more relaxing with everything that's going on. So I randomly decided to get these workout things that I have not used yet. Eric has used them as you can tell but I haven't so this one is just like an ab roll thing I didn't think through how hard this would be so don't think I'll be using it but maybe one day if I'm strong enough I'll use it I don't know and then I got these bands which are great to do squats or you know some arm workouts you know, you know the deal. I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly what these are used for. And on the topic of working out, Eric wanted a scale. I've never been the type to have scales in my house, but we got one and I figured why not share with you guys because it's super cute and it's just nice to have if you want to stress yourself about your weight. I don't know. I forgot to share this in my pedicure little segment that I had. This is the best cuticle remover I have ever tried, ever. So it's the Blue Cross cuticle remover and it's a quick, easy, safe situation. You just put it around your cuticles and it removes it instantly. It's like not painful, I don't know. It's a pure magic in a bottle situation. So highly recommend it if you have cuticles to remove. And then I got this nail polish from Revlon, which is the Gel Envy Diamond Top Coat because I needed a really shiny top coat. And this has a bunch of reviews on Amazon. So I said, why not? And it's amazing. Honestly, one of the best top coats I've used. Now, this is another thing that I honestly did not need because for example, the purpose of this is to get rid of flyaways, but I've always used just my regular clear brow gels to either, you know, kind of like perfect baby hairs or if I have flyaways and stuff, I just use a regular clear brow gel that I have a bunch of. So even though I have a bunch home, I decided why not get one that's specifically for the hair. And let me tell you, this is actually way better than the ones that I have been using. I don't know the exact science behind it or what is exactly in here. It smells like a lot of chemicals, but I feel like it's probably just gel in here and then in a mascara bottle. I don't know. It is a lifesaver if you have a lot of baby hairs or if you want to lay your baby hairs or if you're doing a ponytail or a bun or just want to perfect your hairstyle. This is amazing and it also has a bunch of reviews on Amazon. All right, so I was finally lucky enough to find a sweatshirt, a white one, on Amazon. I wanted to do the whole tie-dye thing, but I don't, I don't know if I want to do that anymore because summer is here and who is actually wearing hoodies anymore. But I ended up getting this one for men in a size small. I hope to find like the sweatpants to match it because I think it'll be super cute to have a white set that I don't have. Also clothing wise, I really wanted a white um, bra, sports bra for doing yoga and I got this one from Champion. You know what, not the greatest, not the greatest material if I'm being honest with you because it is really, really thin. So you just have to be really careful with the nipple area, I guess, not show. Uh, but yeah, I find it to be cute and I got it in an extra small, which is a true extra small. So keep that in mind. Maybe get a small if you're an extra small, if that makes sense. Another super random thing that I got. This I got from my friend Nur because she's always recommending cool different things. I feel like we're, we're in sync, you know, on getting unnecessary things that are useful. So I ended up getting this pressure point thing. This is great to use after a long day if you're stressed or your muscles hurt. You just put it on the floor. It also has like a little pillow situation. It is really painful, not going to lie, but it's supposed to help with the muscles and the pain. And if you sit around too much like I do when I'm editing, I like to put this in my chair and it just, it, it helps, I guess. 
Okay. Woo. All right, so I ended up getting the super random dryer thing stand because some of my clothes does come back wet from downstairs even though the wools have helped it a lot but there's also clothes that you don't necessarily dry so i like to keep this here and it folds really small so it's great for my studio apartment and yeah all right so this is a new gadget that i recently got for my apartment while in quarantine and i am obsessed with i didn't know how much i would love a vacuum like i do right now because i grew up just like rooming around the apartment so vacuums were never really a thing in my household but this is life-changing this has been really really useful for my studio apartment that gets super dusty every single day so i just go around the apartment daily i try to do it every morning because again it just gets really dusty and this is a lot better than my roomba not going to lie just because i can do it by hand and it has different um head pieces right here so you can make it smaller and basically vacuum the couch go into like small small little areas honestly for the price this is amazing i wasn't going to splurge on a dyson if i'm being honest with you so this is great in the meantime all right so next i have four different items that i don't have with me right now just because either they're too big or i just don't want to move them from where they are starting with my speaker i ended up getting a speaker for the tv and it has been amazing i got it from amazon it's from the vizio line which is the same brand as my tv and it works just like it sounds like a movie theater in here and I love it especially because as you can tell it is really really noisy so that cancels all of the outside noise Eric ended up getting a juicer that he loves and is so obsessed with he makes juices every single day so I figured why not share with you guys in case you are also looking for a affordable juicer that it's great quality but affordable so I'm going to be linking it down for you guys if you're interested now we were looking for a garbage can for the kitchen because the one that I have was from Ikea and it was really small so we would have to constantly like every 30 minutes that's exaggerating like every half a day we would have to change the bag so I was looking for the perfect size garbage can that was slim so it wouldn't take so much space in the kitchen since it is a small kitchen so I wanted something slim and tall and I found the perfect size one and I'm obsessed with it so I wanted to also link it for you guys right here all right so that was pretty much it you guys I hope you enjoyed this Amazon favorites let me know which one was your favorite item and which one are you getting I hope you guys enjoyed i'm sorry if i made you spend your money but hey that's what we're here for thank you so much for watching make sure to follow me on instagram and also now tiktok let's just say i ended up hitting a new low during quarantine so yeah see you next time bye why is this giving me such a hard time to fucking focus bro like what legit the worst day to film legit and then cannot wait to move oh. fuck me